So hello and welcome back to another coin video. Today I thought I'd just probably start doing videos about the value of Australian coins. Uh, they and I'm in this video I'm going to be doing the ones that were issued by Woolworths. So the Woolworths ones come in these folders and they always have the information on the back. So there's been one issued every year. So 2017, 18, 19, uh, 20, 21, and 22. And as you can see, some of them look good. The first one they ever issued, plus the magic one, uh, looks pretty good, pretty nice. And oh, there's one set that I am missing. Anyway. Way I seem to can't find the actual first set, but I do have a lot of the uh, two dollar coins. So the first set came in with just these two dollar coins. So there were five colors uh, black, yeah, yeah, you got yellow, as you can see, you got quite a few, and there's blue. Uh, these seem to have fallen out of favor. There's black there. So there's all these different colours. But the difference with uh, this set is these ones had other coins that were not issued for circulation. So 2016 had the just the two dollar coins issued for circulation. This 2018 for Roby, two dollars were issued for circulation, uh, but the one dollar coins were not. And if you look on Numistar or Okay, if we look on the Royal Australian Mint website, you go to Corporate Program and you go to the denomination. So here we have the $1 and it shows you how many were minted. So 50, 2017, so the Post and Magic, 400,000 of each $1. 2018, 450,000. Of each of these, one dollars were minted, so four hundred thousand. We go two thousand nineteen, three hundred sixty-five thousand. So that is, I've got another pot of magic. Uh, the Mr. Squiggle coins. So three hundred sixty-five thousand each of these one dollars were minted. Then. We have 2020. Oh, here's the alphabet coins, so they're a bit different. They were issued by Australia Post. Uh, if we okay, so you need to scroll down a bit more. Okay, 2020. There were no one dollar coins issued in this Olympic folder, so all of these coins are issued for circulation. Uh, we can look at the two dollar coins uh, in a minute. Then we have twenty one. So that had had two one dollar coins. They're actually quite nice. So these two dollar coins generally have a mintage of about two million. So they were issued through the teals as well. So there's no difference between the coins in these folders and the standard circulating coins. So if we uh, look at the okay, 21. We have about 300,000. So 0.3 is 0.3 of a million. So 300,000 of each coins. And the 22, which is this coin series here, uh, has not been announced. Oh, it's not been updated, but in the annual report, these alphabet ones have about 800,000. And I'm not too sure about the... Okay, so we've got one, two... Zebra. So it doesn't look like they have these ones in the actual... in their website. I'm not surprised. Some third world countries are more up to date than what they're... Raw Australian Mint is. So, 
as you can see, these are quite nice. The two dollar coins are not that bad, not that good either. Pretty plain. And I change it USA, USA, USA. And we have the denominations there, so and the specifications. So that one, because of the color of the actual uh, cover as well as the coin design, I don't think this will be that popular in the actual future. These coins are common. These are probably like three to four hundred thousand will be minted of these. And it's just really a terrible design. So currently I think these sell for about twenty to twenty-five dollars. Now all these were issued for fifteen dollars in the first place. Katie twenty twenty one Miss uh Wiggles they sell for about twenty five to thirty dollars uh, on a good day. You can probably get it for twenty. Now the cover, well it's designed for children, so obviously it's quite colourful. Uh, to me it's a pretty off put. Uh, the coins are actually not too bad. Colouring is a bit more complex. I don't mind that. Uh, and this one's actually quite good. So this one yeah, is more suited for younger people. Then we have, so it's 21, there's a 20. So 20, yeah, I don't like this. This is, yeah, this is just not my style. Uh, the actual coins themselves, yeah, I actually quite like the coins. They have a nice, beautiful uh, flower pattern, which you can see in each of these coins. So for the colour design, this is one of my favourite. Uh, maybe they can put more flower patterns on over coins. But the actual holder itself, uh, yeah, not too keen on that one. So this one, yeah, they probably sell for about 20 bucks. Then we have 2019, so this is probably my second favourite, Mr. Squiggle. It's actually quite nice in these pencil nose. And there, yeah, but the coins, like I like this one. If we zoom in. Yeah, you can see the black and blue. So it's a bit hard to actually see coins when they're in this plastic folder and you've got light. And I'm trying to see so you got so you need natural sunlight, but obviously it's dark now, so I can't have that light. And the interesting thing about this one is it has a one cent coin. I think there's like three, four hundred thousand of these one cent coins. Uh, good thing about that corporate site is that it actually does tell you how many one cent coins are minted. And for this one, yeah, four hundred thousand. So there's four hundred thousand of these. And if we look on this side, it has uh, the moon. So Mr. School used to fly up to the moon. So for this coin set. People are probably buying it for the one cent coin because so that one is a unique coin to buy and you can only get it in this set. So that one's probably at least 30 to 40 dollars per set for that one. Uh, and then we have, yeah, what is it? Yeah, 2018. Uh, these ones are not that good, the colors are not too good on them. Although a combination of colors is quite nice. Uh, the one dollars are okay. And so that one's probably about twenty to thirty dollars, depending on a good day. But they didn't issue a one cent coin with that one. Okay. Uh, the most popular one that they have is the Possum Magic. Magic. So it's about forty to, I'm um, not forty, uh, fifty to sixty dollars. Buy one of these sets. Uh, on a bad day, you can probably buy it for forty bucks. But being as it's the first one, both with uh, two dollars, one dollars, and the one cent coin, and also the cover is quite nice. So you've got information there. You have a beautiful cover. Doesn't it's not overwhelming. Like that one's not overwhelming too. 
but you got a nice one cent coin and it has two poss a possum so it's quite read in a book so to try to make it into the similar style as the one cent coin that was issued for circulation and if we open it up you can see the obverse of the coin 2017 the IRB effigy and then we have the actual two dollar coins themselves uh, we've got different motives on the possums I oh, don't and you've got an explanation down below Lamington's a magical and a cure for invisibility by eating special foods, Hush will stay visible forever. A poor possum goes invisible. So this is probably the most popular one. Uh, these did cost $15 when they first came out. And once again, people are probably buying it just for uh, the one cent coin mainly. $1 don't seem to have too much interest. And you can actually flip them out. So, when you handle coins like this, you can probably tone them quite easily. Uh, but then again, they're my coins. But as you can see, they do have a lot of scratches on them. Uh, I don't think I've taken this out before. I can't remember. Uh, dementia is a bad thing. Anyway, I hope this helped you with your coin collecting. So this is an interesting set to get if you wanted to. Um, to get them a retail price, you would have had to start in 2016, so six years ago. So it's a bit late for that now. But they should be issuing. You can still get this one for about 15 bucks in the Royal Australian Mint. And probably some other places as well. So you can start your collection with that. Or you know, probably pay at least $20, $25 in the secondary market. Uh, but next year, Hopefully they will issue a, another set, probably commemorating something better than bloody sport. Oh, yeah, like this one's okay. Yeah, no, I'm not a fan of sport. This is squeal, something people grew up with, another sport. And Apostle Magic, so they need to focus more on uh, these sets that are uh, well designed like the Apostle Magic. Anyway. Hope this helps you with your coin collecting. Leave a comment down below and have an awesome coin and bank record in time. Thank you and goodbye.